Hey guys, I'm Nikki Dinky, and of course, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna make a really fun sauce dish. It's my cilantro pesto. Now I know some of you either love cilantro or you hate it. If you hate it, you're probably not even watching this video because it's titled cilantro pesto. But if you love cilantro and you're sticking with me, you are going to love this pesto. Because really what we're doing is we're taking that cilantro, we're making it the star, adding some ingredients to make sure it's nice and balanced and it's got some depth of flavor. And this is the most beautiful pesto to put over shrimp. I'm actually gonna make it into some shrimp tacos tonight. You can put it over pork and grill it up on the grill outside. You can toss it with rice or even just make it into a pasta salad. It's so good, it's so fresh, and I think it's just the perfect summer dish. So stick with me and let's go make my cilantro pesto. Pestos in general are such a great thing because the flavor is so vibrant and yet it's so easy to make. This is really a dish where we are throwing everything in the food processor, but I'm gonna take a minute just to elevate some of the ingredients that are going to go into this dish. Those ingredients are, I've got a half cup of pine nuts here. Uh, pine nuts is the nut that's normally used in a basil pesto. It's a little expensive, but we're only gonna use a quarter cup here. And to get the most real bang for our buck as far as these nuts, I'm gonna toast them up. I'm just putting them in a dry saute pan. I'm gonna put them over a low heat until they look a little toastier. That'll just really bring out the flavor. And for this cilantro pesto, because it does have that kind of Mexican fresh summer grill kind of flavor, I wanna put some smokiness and some grill flavor into it. So by toasting the pine nuts, that's one of the steps to kind of get us there. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and roast these jalapenos. Now these are kind of small. If you had one big one, you could go with just one. But I'm gonna roast them, get them nice and black. I'm gonna steam them in a bag and then take off these skins and take out the seeds and stuff. So we're still gonna get some heat from these, but we're gonna kind of mild it out because we're gonna roast it and we're gonna remove the seeds and the ribs on the inside, which is where the heat lives, on that inside. So if you take that out, it's a little bit more of a manageable heat with that great jalapeno flavor. So let me roast these up, let me get these toasted, and I'm telling you, this is the hardest part. Everything else is just throwing it in the food processor. So give me two minutes and I'll be right back. Am I eating my ingredients? Yes, I am. It's part of the perks of being a chef, right? If you cook it, you get to snack on it. In this case, I am snacking on a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And you know, I really believe in a pesto that all your ingredients should be really the best that they can be. Because it's pretty much served raw, it's not really cooked, and there's not that many ingredients. So I kind of want them all to really shine. So a really good Parmesan, I think, is really delicious to eat and to put in your pesto. So I'm gonna put this half a cup of Parmesan in my food processor. I'm also gonna add in three cups, or I hope not, three cloves of garlic, not three cups, though I wouldn't put it past me. Three cloves of garlic are gonna go in here, along with the juice of one lime. You know, I feel like cilantro kinda has a citrusy, bright quality to it, so the lime is kind of mimicking that and playing that up. So I like a little bit of lime, it kind of freshens up the dish. Also, we can't forget our salt. I'm gonna start with about a teaspoon of salt, which is a good amount, but I want you to taste it later and just make sure you don't need any more or less because you know this is our key ingredient in everything. And then of course, we need our cilantro. 
Mmm, this could be like a bouquet. This is like my wedding bouquet. Oof, it's a little wet though. I love cilantro. If you're making this pesto, you probably love it too. In this pesto, I'm asking you for about two cups of packed cilantro. I know that can be kind of hard to determine, you know, how much is that. If you pack it into a cup and you keep on pushing it down, you're looking for about two of those. Or you can just take a nice big handful and, you know, we're going to use about two thirds of this, quite a big amount. So two nice big handfuls is about what I'm looking for here. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm sure it'll turn out perfect no matter what. So, let me get these ingredients into the food processor. I'm gonna start to puree them up, and then I'm gonna start adding in my olive oil. I'm gonna drizzle it in. I'm probably gonna use about a half a cup. You might want a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on if you want it more saucier and more thicker. But I'm gonna start to drizzle it in, and when I get to the consistency that I'm looking for, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna be done. So, let me get to it, because I'm about to finish this pesto in one, two, three. Can you see that beautiful green pesto? That is delicious. And I must admit, it's a little bit hotter than I expected. You know, last time I made this, I put in only one jalapeno, and I felt like it needed a little bit more heat. But the two jalapenos that I put in this time, I must admit, they're kind of making me sweat a little bit. And I'm pretty good with heat, so you might want to do just one jalapeno, unless you're using this sparingly. If you're just kind of, you know, using it as a marinade or lightly over meat, then you can probably add in the extra jalapeno and have a little bit more heat. But if you're going to use a good amount of this, you know, in some rice or pasta or in a dip, you might want to cut back a little because I must admit, it's a little hot. But besides being hot, it's not just hot, it is delicious. It's got such an earthy, grilly kind of flavor, but it's still super light and summery and refreshing. This is your new favorite pesto, I promise you. I hope you guys try this one. I always hope you have fun in the kitchen, and I'll see you guys next time.